Hi! Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel! It's really nice to have you guys here. So in today's experiment, we are going to be making hydrogen gas and we're going to be exploding it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So before we uh, go into the experiment, I would like to show you all the chemicals that we have that we are going to be making our um, uh, hydrogen gas. So, but the first thing, if you are doing this at home, always make sure that you wear your safety goggles, right? Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that we have here is the sodium hydrogen sulfate. So sodium hydrogen sulfate, the chemical formula is NaHSO4. If you are familiar with chemistry, you will know all of that. So this is actually where we get our hydrogen from. So when we dissolve this chemical in our water, so the hydrogen um, uh, uh, element is gonna be released. So the hydrogen is gonna be released. But the interesting thing is the hydrogen that will be released if from NaHSO4 is missing one electron. So we have to give it back that electron before we can make our hydrogen gas. So then how do we get the extra electron to give to our hydrogen? So we know in chemistry that metals are very, very, very generous in giving um, uh, electrons. So the method that we're going to be using to give one electron back to hydrogen that we get from NaHSO4 uh, is magnesium. So we have the magnesium uh, strips in here. So we are going to be adding this in our chemical, right? So then this magnesium will be able to give us one electron that will give back to our hydrogen that we get from here. So an interesting thing also is when we dissolve this, we are going to get oxygen too okay so and when we have oxygen and hydrogen together in a chemical um equation they are they're gonna react they're gonna explode right so we don't want the hydrogen and the oxygen to react because we want to collect the um hydrogen in a separate uh, beaker so that we can explode it separately so what we'll do we are going to add a chemical called sodium carbonate so the sodium carbonate will be will help us to get rid of the oxygen that we get from here so that means we're going to have only pure hydrogen okay so then when we are done with that then we are going to have um a, a soap solution so the soap solution is what we're going to use to trap our hydrogen because when we create when, when we um make the experiment uh, for hydrogen hydrogen is a gas it's, it's gonna go into the atmosphere and we won't be able to explode it because we want to trap the uh the hydrogen gas and be able to explode it so we're gonna make soak uh, soap bubbles so soap bubbles we're gonna use that soap bubbles to trap our hydrogen gas so now the soap bubbles we uh, we have the hydrogen gas in it and then we explode it okay so let's get started so the first thing that we want to do so we have our beaker so we're we going to pour our hydrogen um our sodium hydrogen sulfate everything that we have in here into our beaker so let's do that all right so let's pour everything there you go we need everything to go in there okay so that's done so we need to dissolve this um this element so that we can get our hydrogen from it so we're, we're gonna pour some water we're gonna pour 100 millimeter i guess into this so we need our funnel of course okay so let's try that out Okay, I think that's enough. So what we're gonna do after we pour this, we are, we are gonna shake it for one minute. Okay, so I will ask Google to help me set a timer for one minute. Okay, Google, set a timer for one minute. Got it, one minute, and that's starting now. Okay, so let's shake it. Okay, Google, stop. All right, 
so it's one minute already so let's remove our fun funnel okay so the next thing that we want to do we want to make our soap solution where we're gonna be uh, able to trap our hydrogen okay so we have a soap solution in here so let's shake it a little bit so let's remove that um there you go we're gonna pour everything in here let's see have some okay good so let's get rid of this so that we don't create a mess there you go then we're gonna pour 100 millimeter of water in here too That's about that. So we have this, we're gonna use to stir it and create some bubbles. Foam, as you may call it. Okay, so that's good. The next thing that we need to do, so now, we have our hydrogen in here that is being released uh, from the solution uh, of NaHSO4. So now we need to add our magnesium uh, to add uh, one more like uh, electron for our hydrogen to become gas. So we are gonna add four of this uh, magnesium strip. There you go. Then we're gonna add this. Then we're gonna trap. Trap it. Then I'm gonna put it in here. So we are gonna wait for one minute. So you can see the hydrogen gas is being released for me. We're gonna wait for one minute so that we have enough bubbles so that we can explode it. All right, nice. Are you guys ready? So let's set timer. Okay, Google, set timer for one minute. Sure, one minute. And we're starting now. Okay, Google, stop timer. All right, so guys, it's already one minute and we have our hydrogen gas trapped in our soap bubbles. So now we need to explode it. This is gonna be fun. So the first thing that we need, need to do, we are gonna remove our glove, right? There you go. So we have this. That's gonna, we're gonna use it to catch the fire. Are you guys ready? I'm nervous. <laughs> so let's do it. One, two, three, go. Woo! Did you see that? Boom! Okay, so let, let's let, let's collect more um hydrogen and explode it. So let's let's wait for some time. Wow, this is hot in here. So this this is actually called an um uh exothermic reaction so in, in chemistry an exothermic reaction is a reaction that releases heat to the environment while endothermic reaction is a reaction that um take heat from the environment i hope i'm right on that that's high school uh high school chemistry so this is exothermic reaction <laughs> please check that i think i'm right <laughs> yeah because I really love chemistry. So now we have some soap bubbles again, which are well, like they are um, hydrogen gas. So let's explode it again. Wow. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me um, doing this experiment. 
it's really fun for me i hope it's really fun for you guys uh, please don't uh, forget to like subscribe to my channel i have much more other videos that i'm showing on the screen right now and i have much more experiments that that are really fun that i have planned to uh, do on this channel so if you don't want to miss any of that please subscribe and like and share my video see you guys in the next video